Okay, troubleshooting a Stuart Turner pump. This one happens to be a negative uh, head twin, uh, a monsoon, but most of this will cover Charmage singles and positives. So just follow on. Right, take the lid off, uh, four screws. Now you'll be left with what you can see here, which is your start capacitor and your main board, obviously power off. Uh, now I've removed the power cable so it's easier to show you. Now um, the first thing to do is just to, to feel the pump body, see if it's red hot. If it is you need to let it cool, um, but if, assuming it's cool uh, we can go on. The reason for that is there's actually a sensor in here uh, when, when it gets too hot it'll shut off. So now power off, well, the first thing to do is to check to see whether the pump will run. Um, so what we'll do, with the power off, you bridge between live and M over there, uh, which is motor live, so it's brown in and brown to the motor, and see whether the pump will run. Now obviously being as you're troubleshooting live electrics, what you do is power it off, stick that in with the other cable, stick that in with the other cable, walk away and switch it on at the spur. Um, so you're not actually fiddling with live electrics. Then switch. Then obviously once you've done that, you can switch it off, come back and take it out. So, first thing, bridge it, switch it on. If it runs, um, we know the motor and start capacitor are okay. If it does nothing, um, it's more than likely the motor is dead. And if it hums, it's either seized or your start capacitor is dead. Now, if it hums, or just anyway, if it doesn't do anything, take this out and have a look. You're looking for splits, um, grey gray sort of sludge seeping out, bulges and things like that. But do bear in mind, it can still be failed, um, even if there's nothing obvious wrong with it. So what you need to do, if it's just humming or not doing anything, is take the side off, take the, take, get into the pump impeller and check and see if it's seized. That's in another one of my videos, um, but for now we're going to concentrate on the electrics. Assuming it's running, we now need to check to make sure whether it's the board or the sensors that are at fault. So, you'll see here you've got a whole series of sensors. Now, if you've got a positive you're going to have less um, and you're also going to have a green board. If you've got a single it's going to be less again. But basically look, you've got your motor wiring, your input power and your sensors. They're all the same like this. So. Um, doesn't matter what you've got here, you'll see they're all lovely um, and badged and what you need to do is pretend to be one of the sensors. So what we're going to do, um, again, same as before, power it off, bridge it, go away, switch it on. So we're going to be pretend to be, and in this case, um, we're going to go S1 to S1, which is the, in this case, it's the pressure sensor. We're going to pretend to be this sensor. If the pump runs, good and you need to go to each one of these sensors and check it runs off each one. So what we'll do here is we've got S1s, two S1s, two S2s and two S3s. We need to make sure she runs off each one. Boom, boom, boom. If it does, the fault is with the sensor. If it doesn't run off any of these, if it won't run when you've bridged any of these or it doesn't run when you've bridged one, uh, you know, so S1 works, S2 works, but S3 doesn't, you've got a fault with the board. Now, um, but in fairness, usually what it is, is it's either the board or the pressure sensor. So what we'll do is we've just checked, we've checked and we've gone, she runs off that, she runs there, and she runs there. So we know the board's okay, we're looking at a sensor problem. Now, on a negative, you will have one of these, which is a pressure sensor built in on the top. Um, Basically, if the pressure in the system is low, um, what it will do is it will um, close a circuit. So basically do what we were doing, which is to bridge S1, S1. Um, so if it ran by bridging S1 to S1 and there's no pressure in the system, i.e. there's nothing coming out of the taps, then your pressure sensor's done. Change that. Easy to get. They just unscrew. One, you know, just wind it out, pop a new one in. Um, now, if you've got a positive only, or a positive pump, you're going to have one of these jammed on the side of the output, like so. And the way that this works is when the water flows through the pump, a little one of these, which is basically just a little sort of looks like a little rocket, it's a magnet, um, will float up. So what it does is 
under natural circumstances, it's sitting down low, and then as it floats up uh, in the water jacket, the little reed switch in here sees it, and what it'll do is it closes off, so it closes. So what you can do, you can slide these off the sides, and with a little magnet, you can just, in this case, I've got the little um, rocket jobby, but any magnet will do. It should then, that should then fire the pump. Putting the magnet there should fire the pump. If it doesn't, what's happened is your little rocket has not is not is stuck and won't come up in and and fire your pump. Now, one thing that can happen with these is they can actually jam either down or jam up. If you've got a pump that runs continuously for ten minutes and then shuts off, what's happened is this is jammed up. It's running until the motor overheats and then it's shutting down. So you've got that there. Um, which we can test. Now, if you want to see whether your um, your magnetic float jobbies are stuck, then all you do is you get down here. Now, I've removed this one. You can see where it sits. And I haven't removed this one. You can actually see there's a chunk of something in there and all. All you do, squeeze the circuit clip, lift it out, and then the little thing comes out with it. Um, the, these are easily available. You can get them from Stuart Turner or me. Um, and uh, you just drop that in there. Drops right down. Yeah, not today it doesn't. Um, drops right down, and then ideally do it with something non-metallic so it doesn't stick to it. And then all you do, get your little um, circlip, squeeze it together with a little pair of pliers, and clip it into place. Make sure the circlip sits properly in place because if it doesn't, what's going to happen is it's all going to go flying up the pipe. Look, um, you know magnet and all. Now on these what you're looking for is you're looking for splits, cracks. Uh, there's, I think the, the magnet inside is metallic and sometimes it rusts and, and bursts the casing open which will jam it. Okay so in short check the motor. Is it hot? Isn't it hot? If it's hot you need to switch it off, leave it and wait. Take the lid off. Bridge obviously being careful, live to motor. If that runs it, you know that the motor and the start capacitor are okay. If it doesn't, you need to check the start capacitor. If that is bulged, you need to change it again. You can get one of them, they're not a problem to get. Then, being as we can't test the board, what we have to do is to pretend to be the sensors. So what we do is we bridge uh, and pretend to be sensor one, sensor two, and then sensor three. Or if you don't have one, two, and three, you may just have one and two. Um, just bridge all the, bridge the sensors one by one. If she runs off all of those, um, the problem is with the sensors, not the board. Um, if it doesn't run off those, it's the board. Um, and then if you're having problems with sensors, you can check by taking your sensor off and putting a little magnet in place. If it runs from that, then the problem's not with the motor, the board, or the sensor it's with the magnet that's stuck which you can then take the pipe off have a little look down pick it out and see why it's chapped um, bear in mind this is the most not the most complex but this is the, uh, the type of pump with the most sensors because it has as we looked at before the pressure sensor and then it has because it's a twin it has one of these one on that side obviously the pumps in pieces now but uh, one on that side and one on that side so you've got three sensors um, some will for example a single negative will have one of those and a pressure sensor a single positive will just have one of those um, so there's all different types now in terms of getting parts for these um, easy to get hold of um, they come with full instructions which is rather pleasant um, you can ring and order these uh, this one for example um, is for it says on the back uh, two bar singles and um, some others um, and each one comes with a full instruction pack and you can uh, yeah change as you need to that's it for electrics um, if you've got leaks etc or non-return valve problems then look at my other videos cheers for now